Beowulf, wake up. Beowulf. Beowulf! Oh. Oh. What do you want, T-Wolf? It's like three in the morning. It's Halloween. Tell me a ghost story. All right, then. Let me get up. Oh. Jesus, look at the state of me. Okay, T-Wolf. I've got a very juicy horror story for you. This is the story of the white lady. Nah, you know that forest we go to quite regularly to film things like the wolf quest and to do channel updates and things like that? Well, that forest used to be a garden to a very, very large manor house that was owned by a woman that lived all by herself. Now, this woman, she lived during the 1800s where many women were being drowned and forced to confess that they were witches. Well, this lady, she lived on her own in this manor house and one day, a bunch of people knocked on her door, dragged her out of her house and took her to the lake at the back of her garden. They kept dunking her, they kept forcing her to confess that she was a witch, but she did not because she was not a witch. So eventually, these evil pricks drowned her and she died in the lake. Now this lake is still there. We've walked past it many, many times. And some people say that if you go to this lake at night and you pay very close attention, you can see the spirit of this white lady floating around the lake. And if you look at her, she will drag you into the lake and she will kill you. Now what do you think of that ghost story, T-Wolf? Is that up to the standards you want? That was rubbish. Tell me another one. Okay, T-Wolf. I've got one more story for you. You may remember that last year there were reports of a beast named Beowulf travelling the forest killing innocent girls. Well, you may remember that one of Beowulf's victims was a girl named Samantha. Now, Samantha was murdered by Beowulf the Wolf. Please, no! And her body was never found. All the police could find was her mobile phone. Well, there have been reports that the body of Samantha has been walking the forest at night and if you are unfortunate enough to walk into her she will chase you, follow you and she will be at the end of your bed as you sleep. So just a word of warning, T-Wolf, that tonight you may see the ghost of Samantha at the end of your bed if you keep being cocky. Okay, it's very late so I'm going to bed now. So yeah, Thanks for waking me up, T-Wolf. Good night. Ugh. Huh. There's no such thing as ghosts. I'm going to go to the forest and see for myself.
Ah, oh. nice stroll in the woods. Nothing to worry about. La 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 What was that? Oh, just my imagination. Let's go. La 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 Walking through the woods. La 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 la. Walking through the woods. No scary, horrible ladies. I'm walking through the woods. Walking through the woods. What's that? Oh. Oh. It's just a tree. Oh. Silly, silly team off. <laughs> Walking through the woods. No scary women here. Nothing scary here. Ah. Well, I've been in this forest for two hours. And I haven't seen a single scary monster woman. Seems like Beowulf is a big fat liar. Hang on. What's that? What's that? I'm not joking. What's that? What the hell was that? What was that? I need to go check that out. Um... Hello? Hello? Excuse me, miss- <laughs> Jesus! What's wrong with you, T-Wolf? What are you screaming for? Can I sleep with you? Yes, you can sleep with me. Just don't scream like that. You give me a heart attack. Now go to sleep. <laughs>